Hello again, everybody. I'm Kevin Rush, television critic for your TV Weekly Log. And I'm Dan Clark, TV critic for Dial Digest, and we are on the television. Tonight's a special show. We're going live to the first annual On the Television Awards show. It's being hosted by our own Nat Caulfield and Ricky Wells. We'll be your in-studio host for the evening, and that's because we weren't even invited to the show itself. Not that I'm bitter or anything. You know, Dan and I are both nominated for an award this evening, so you'll have to forgive him. He's a little on the edgy side. Anyway, let's join the show, already in progress. I rented a tuxedo and everything. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That has got to be one of the nicest tributes to Lucy that I've ever seen. It sure was, Nat. And a very special thanks to Barbara Eden and Mindy Cohn for that wonderful reenactment of the Candy Factory sketch. Bravo, ladies. Wonderful. Bravo. Uh -huh. And speaking of ladies that deserve bravos, let's move right on to our next category of the evening. Outstanding individual achievement by an actress in a leading role in a regularly scheduled hour-long drama or action-adventure series. <laughs> Boy, that lets out all you gals in those irregularly scheduled shows. <laughs> <laughs> are Angie Dixon for Crystal Balls, New Age Detective. Delaney Dana Laney for China Beach Party. Angela Lansbury for Murder, She Spelled Out Real Play. Time Weekly for Lacey, Lacey, and Lacey. And Victoria, Assistant Principal for Tour of Beauty. Boy, this is a tough one. And the winner is Time Weekly for Lacey, Lacey, and Lacey. I want you to say hello to your new partners. Partner song? Sergeant Mary Beth Lacey, say hello to Sergeant Mary Jane Lacey and Sergeant Mary Lou Lacey. Very pleased to meet you, Sergeant. Nice to meet you, Sergeant. Sergeant, nice to meet you, Sergeant. Nice to meet you, Sergeant. Sergeant. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm serious. Hello, Sergeant. I'm with you. Very good to meet you. thing of love you have given me. <laughs> Mommy did it, kids. Now go to bed. <laughs> but seriously, this antenna means so much to me. As you know, I am not on television right now because I'm singing and dancing up a storm on Broadway. <laughs> but this is nice. This is nice. It means that you like my work. And more importantly, it means you like my work more than you like other people's work, which makes this special. I will treasure this. And I will continue to act as good as I can for as long as I can. Thank you so much. And thank you to the wonderful crew and to the donut girl. And Oh, you know who you are. I don't need to say it. Thank you. Boy, she's a good actress, but what is up with that eye makeup? <laughs> Tonight, five TV theme songs have been honored with nominations, and throughout the evening, we'll take a look at all five of them. Our first nominee is the theme from the not-so-wonderful years. Words and music by George Etra and Willie McGrath, performed by Joe Cocky. What would happen to me without you? Would any more of my dreams have come true? The sad times, the bad times, cruel laughter and tears. And I wonder what comes after the night. So wonderful years. Our next award goes for individual achievement by a non-actor in a leading role in a series, special, or series of specials. And the nominees are Imelda Marcos for Our Maid Imelda. Robin Screech, Screech and the Law. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North for Golly Ali. Barbara Bush for From Words, Shining Words. And Dan Quayle for Dan Quayle's Dance Party. And the winner is... Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North for Golly Ali. I 
told you no. But Lieutenant Colonel Daddy, I need a corporate. How am I supposed to fight for freedom without a really cool set of wheels? Look, son, I don't mind getting you all the cash and guns you want. But I can't get you a Corvette until I get my daughter that kidney transplant she needs. I didn't want to have to do this, but you're forcing me to use the red phone. Uh -oh. Hello? Get me the White House. Uh -oh. They're getting me the White House. Uh -oh. Hello, Mrs. Bush. It's Jorge Luis Adjurame North. May I speak to your son? He's not her son, he's her husband. <laughs> oh, you like me. You really like me. I and my family have been through so much. So much. This means almost as much to me as the enormous amount of money I'm paid for speaking, the publicity, the love of people. You know, when I decided to do a situation comedy, it was not out of personal gain, but rather out of a desire to bring laughter to the world, as well as hate and fear, which makes the laughter all the more welcome. <laughs> I want to thank... Not too many surprises so far. Oh, really? I was betting on Imelda Marcos and Angie Dixon. Hmm. I'm just sorry we got there too late for that salute to Lucy. <laughs> Me too. But don't go anywhere, guys. There's lots more awards coming up, including the one I'm nominated for. Me too.